I was inspired by this photo that I saw on Pinterest and wanted to replicate it, but didn't want to mess with a whole lot of painting. So for this project, you'll need a wooden crate. You can get these from most craft stores or Walmart. I bought this particular one from Joann's and was able to get it for 50% off of the coupon. Now you can leave your crate as is with the natural wood, or you can paint it any color to match your brand or the look that you desire. I use this white acrylic paint by Deco Art that I believe I bought from Hobby Lobby and I just watered it down a little to give it kind of a whitewash appearance. Now this is a crate that I had already had done and just wanted to spruce it up for my next upcoming craft show. Now you will also need some permanent vinyl in any color or pattern. I picked this vinyl from the Crafter Square section at one of my local Dollar Trees. But you could also use any vinyl that you prefer. Um, if you have some laying around in your in your stash, you can go ahead and use that up. Now the tools that you'll need would be a utility knife. I happen to get this one from, you guessed it, a Dollar Tree. And you will need something to scrape your vinyl with. I'm using my Cricut scraper, but you could use a gift card or something similar. And then you'll also need a pair of scissors or a paper cutter of some sort. For this video, I am using this rainbow vinyl. And now I'm going to test to see if my vinyl will fit in just right. And now I am going to measure the length of my crate. And here I am measuring and it's right at about maybe 16 and a half inches. Now I'm going to set my crate aside and I will now measure and cut my vinyl. And so now here I am measuring a little bit over what I need to fit into my crate. If I have more than I need, I could always just cut off the, the excess. So here I am cutting at 17 inches of my vinyl. And now we're going to start to apply our vinyl to the inside of our crate and we're just going to remove the backing from the vinyl a little at a time. So now you are going to line up your vinyl and match it up to the corners, the inside corners of your crate and you are going to smooth everything down. Try to get it as flush to the side of the crate as you can. So now you are going to rub your vinyl down to press it down into the wood and you will also need to use your scraper tool to smooth out any bubbles that will appear under your vinyl. And try not to press too hard with your scraper tool when you are using this Dollar Tree vinyl because it is a thin vinyl, it is easier to tear. So when you get all of your bubbles smoothed out of your vinyl, you're going to peel back the backing of the vinyl a little bit more and you're going to work a little bit at a time, smoothing out any bubbles. Once you have removed all the backing from your vinyl, you are going to press your vinyl into the corners of your crate, making sure that they, they fit in there really nice and there's not a huge gap. I 
Um, again, if there is any excess of vinyl, you can take your utility blade and just cut off the excess. Now that our vinyl is nice and smooth and we're just checking to make sure that it is nice and smoothed out, we are going to turn our crate over and we are going to remove the vinyl from in between the slats. Using our utility knife, we are going to go along the side of the wood slat to that slanted portion of the utility knife and we're just going to go along the slat cutting into the vinyl. Now make sure that the blade on your utility knife is sticking out kind of far. Um, this will make it so much easier for the to cut through the vinyl. And also to add a little bit of pressure so that the knife punctures through the vinyl. And now that all the vinyl has been removed, you can now use your utility knife to clean up any bits that you may have missed, just to make sure everything is nice and neat. And so now here, I noticed that there were still a little bit of bubbles, so I'm taking my scraper and going back over that vinyl. And so now our crate is finished. 